All right, this is the best save in modern history, in crashing history of ever. Trofeo Sportivi Sestesi, under 23 race in Italy. All right, let's get going. So here we have the under 23 AG2R rider. Swerves to the left, swerves to the right, dog there, crashes, holds on to the bloke, and he's just somehow alive. Now, this is absolutely bonkers. You probably didn't see in full time, full speed exactly what happened. But we're going to show you the replay, and you're going to see the lad slams on his front brake. He swerves to the right, he swerves to the left. The guy behind him swerves to him, and the AG2R bloke's like, I'm going to crash, holds on to him, his hips sliding across the concrete or the tarmac on his cleats outrageous stuff from the big boy how he managed to save it i just don't know how he managed to unclip so quickly like he basically just crashed in the back of him the bloke in front of him was like oi no worries just hold on me holds on him just done thanks for coming it's the best save i've ever seen the lad in front of him gets spooked by the dog the dog seems to be pretty unaware of bike riders to be fair and um yeah he's just sliding on the cleats it's outrageous um, all he needs now is he just hops up on his feet and says, new bike, please. So huge save from the AG, AG2R under 23 lads. Um, big up to them. And nice to see uh, people not crashing, unlike Matty Mahoric, which is a very unfortunate crash. I'm not going to dwell on it too much. I'm not going to make a video about how he crashed. Basically slid out the back, whacked on the front brake, went head over heels. I think he might have hit a rock as well. But what I do want to talk about is the Giro. Now, Balcom, not <laughs> Balcom, not Egan Bernal, what? a stage he launched it big time up that 12 percent wall on gravel whacked it in the big dog just before after he countered vlasov's move and just whacked it huge time up the climb it was massive caruso was did seven watts per kilo for like five minutes just nowhere close to the boy which i thought was a little bit low i thought he'd do more watts per kilo but i think it was a really hard stage it was like 320 normalized for four hours for uh the old man caruso he weighs about 67 kilos is the rumor um, but Bernal just whacked it and just no one could come close. I mean, okay, the time gap's maybe 10, 12 seconds to Carthy and, and Yates and uh, Evanapol and all them lot. But Evanapol losing a bit of time. Maybe it's a bit, bit worrying, but I don't think so. I don't think he's that good at the real, real punch. I think he just loves the TT, the long, the long stuff. Like those long breakaways, are like the long mountaintop finishes, I just like can imagine him just going cheerio lads and just soloing away. And once he's gone, you just can't catch him. Uh, but I think Bernal... When his high altitude finishes, I think he's going to be really good. So the battle between them two will be really exciting. Yates doesn't seem to have done much. Maybe he's going to be in really good form. Maybe he's not. It's all a mystery with Yates. Uh, Carthy seemed to lose two and a half minutes, but managed to get it back, which is unreal. Looking good. Vlasov, very underrated. Things are going to go really well. Ting is good as well, so he doesn't need to put too much time into like Remco and people in the final stage, final uh, before the final stage. So yeah, really, really excited about the Giro. Connor Swift won Troy Borelli on, legend, used to be a big name in the UK domestic scene, and now he's bashing people in, uh, well, in France, which was really good. Big sprint, 1400 watt uh, peak after like 5,500 kilojoules, um, celebrated too early because he's a lad and just won it, which is huge. And Pidcock won the mountain bike uh, World Cup in Nova Mesto, I think it was, which is huge because he's now going to the Olympics and probably one of the favorites for it after, well, there's Van der Poel, Nino Schur, maybe, and a couple other boys who look all right, but... Me being me, I think Pickock's going to win it, which will be huge. And he's also doing Tour de Suisse, which will be very exciting in about three weeks. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Please let me know, is this the best save you've ever seen? I think for me, I've never seen anyone save a bike, a bike that's about to crash better than this boy who's under 23 lad for AG2R in the Trofea Sportivi. See ya.